Peace, peace, peace. What's going on, y'all? It is day 203 out of 365 daily vlogs. And I just came back from a nice little, it wasn't just a regular walk today. I left my phone at the crib, a detachment walk. I detached from everything. I'm gonna call it that. that I like that. I went, I went for a little detachment block, block, walk. I went for a little detachment walk and it was so good i it felt good honestly to just be present literally all i i was forced to be present i couldn't quickly distract myself to see if i got a little heart on one of my tiktoks or i couldn't distract myself with going on and checking my youtube analytics it was just me and nature it just did something to my brain i don't know it felt really good and i'm sharing this to encourage you to leave your phone at home when you go for a walk and just enjoy it feel the sun rays how and how it uh, warms up your skin listen to the birds the crickets the wind all these animals literally talk at the same time and make noises at the same time but it sound peaceful the fountain in the distance for me that's what i that's what i was that's <laughs> and that's all folks <laughs> That's what was going on for me personally as I was walking. I was like, wow. I don't know. It just felt like a new world. And no lie, as I was walking, there was birds flying around me. Yo, it was like a... <laughs> How could I forget that? I was like, what the... F I promise you. I start. I walked with no phone and I don't know. I feel like it, it changed my life. I can't front. But I again, I share all that to say next time you go on a walk, make sure it's a detachment walk. Leave your phone at home bring your keys lock your door and just go it felt really good aside from that uh i had some really good reflections on my walk there and they were so good i had to write them down on a, um like a single piece of paper i'm thinking about going on more of these walks and uh coming back home and maybe like hole punching them and putting all my reflections in a in a binder but i had some really good ones but there's one that i really 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 want to share and i'm gonna read it i'm gonna read it off the paper i went for a walk and was having so many reflections and moments of realizations one of them was realizing that the devil on my back is bigger than i thought from there my mind went on to explain why i was saying to myself that one reason i say this is because i say things like i want to stop smoking and watching porn then get this boost of inspiration and motivation and then go do it again but what really stood out to me was the boost of inspiration and motivation that the devil can grant us it's like a false sense of it so we can dive deeper into the dark pits of shame and guilt when we don't keep our word it's like every time we dishonor ourselves and our word we also dishonor the lord in a way I think I had that reflection because I've been thinking about what's stopping me from genuinely just being great, what's stopping me from just being the best version of myself, what's stopping me from being a, you know, a successful YouTuber, creative, what's stopping me from being the healthiest I could be. And, um, you know, I think that's where that reflection came from. And it really oh, just opened my eyes because the thought after this one was that, like, yes, although we do see God when we're in good moments of our lives, like we really connect with God in our lowest. And like, I need to not only have that sense of inspiration and motivation when I receive it, like when I'm like, okay, I'm about to get ready, but also have that same fire and inspiration and motivation to lean on god in moments where i'm being tempted on so when i feel like i'm on e i have to remember i'm with god you feel me like that's the real boost of inspiration and motivation when you feel like you can't when you feel like you've exhausted everything you could not when you're starting but when you feel like you're finishing can you keep going i hope that makes sense to y'all um and i guess i wanted to share that with y'all as well because um i don't know somebody out there else you know somebody else out there could be experiencing the same shit as well